Hi there, I'm Dr. Mirdalis Diaz Ramirez, and this is the Design Your Physician Life podcast, brought to you by our Max Allure Mastermind, a personal professional development program where you can launch your business as a physician entrepreneur and learn more about entrepreneurship. Today, we're going to be talking about learning from gratitude. Are you ready? Let's go. Welcome to the Design Your Physician Life podcast, where you will get excited about being a physician, learn the tools that can help boost your success, and great tips from successful doctors. Join us to unlock the keys to an amazing physician life. And now, here's your host, Dr. Mirdalis Diaz Ramirez. Hi there, welcome to this episode of Design Your Physician Life podcast. I'm Dr. Mirdalis Diaz Ramirez, as I said, and I really want to welcome you to this um, episode today. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I wrote a letter for all of you, and yes, I will be reading, but I want to make it a little bit interactive. I'm going to make some pauses, and hopefully you can have some time to also think about those things that you might be grateful for in your life. Why did I think about this? Obviously, you know, it's Thanksgiving. Many times we forget what fortunate we are as physicians. As physicians, we have been able to achieve what many would love to achieve. And despite all the things that we have in our lives, there's many who still envy our lives. It's not that we have to be grateful for having bad things. It's that we have to be able to recognize the great things that we do have in life, despite our problems that we might have in our daily practice of medicine. So here we go. I'm going to start reading and I hope that you have some time to think as well. So today I'm reaching out with a message deeply rooted in hope, gratitude, and resilience. In a world currently marred by conflicts like those in Russia, Ukraine, and Israel-Palestine, and amidst the societal turmoil we witness daily, it's imperative to pause and reflect on our unique journeys and the broader landscape we navigate as physicians. A profession, noble yet demanding, often places us at the crossroads of intense pressure and profound fulfillment. As someone who has walked through the shadow of burnout and emerged with a renewed sense of purpose through entrepreneurship, I want to assure you that there are many paths waiting to be explored. This podcast, an extension of our Max Allure Mastermind program, is a testament to the boundless opportunities that await us beyond traditional clinical roles. The world we inhabit is complex with its share of darkness and light. Yet, in its complexity, we find our strength. The fact that we have options to step back from clinical duties, to reinvent our careers, to contribute to healthcare in innovative, non-clinical capacities is a privilege that we shouldn't overlook. These choices enable us to impact lives, not just within the confines of a hospital or clinic, but in ways that resonate across communities and borders. When exploring the essence of gratitude, it's crucial to distinguish it from more, you know, from mere thankfulness. Gratitude is an internal acknowledgement and appreciation of life's gifts, while thankfulness often manifests in expressing our appreciation of others. The journey of, of gratitude encompasses three profound stages. Number one, recognizing abundance. This stage encourages us to shift our focus from what's missing to the abundance that surrounds us. What would you tell me you want from life if I asked you right now? Would you focus on the things you don't have or realize that many of the things you want from life you already possess? Do you have health, friends, family, ability to think, a roof, access to, the, to your desired world, shoes, clothes, food, flowers. Think about this. Number two, deep appreciation. Here we immerse ourselves in the act of cherishing the gifts we often overlook. This stage is about finding joy in the ordinary and recognizing the extraordinary in our everyday lives. How would you see now what you have in your life, what surrounds you? How much more quality time would you spend to enjoy your achievements, your company, your micro world, your sunsets, your sunrises. Number three, the cycle of giving back. 
Gratitude naturally evolves into a desire to give back, to share our abundance with others. This stage is marked by acts of kindness, mentorship, and contributions that extend beyond ourselves. When was the last time you shared some knowledge, extended your hand to someone in need, asked to help before they asked you? Embracing gratitude not only enriches our lives emotionally, but also bestows tangible health benefits. It's linked to lower stress levels, reduce inflammation, improve sleep quality, better heart health, and an overall sense of well-being and happiness. As I reflect in my own life, I'm overwhelmed with gratitude for countless moments and experiences. Having had the opportunity to experience the love of my parents, of my family. Having had the opportunity to feel deep, passionate love, being corresponded and have children born of that deep love. The innocent embrace of my children after long, exhausting days. When my kids were three years old, I would come home after a very long, tiring day of seeing patients and they would not let me walk past the door without hanging to me one on each leg. I am grateful that despite how tired I was, they insisted I help them. The mesmerizing beauty of sunsets, a daily reminder of nature's splendor, we get to see many sunsets. Each sunset is beautiful, and as a family, we get tired of watching the sky and the clouds at any time of the day. I'm grateful for my heritage. This has given me a sense of belonging to our family, and we feel united even though we might be miles and miles apart. Then reaching presence of old and new friends, each bringing diverse perspectives into my life. I'm grateful for music, the notes and the lyrics that make us jump exhilarated or accompany us in our most emotional moments. The joy of cooking, the privilege of having traveled and the aspiration to explore more of our wondrous world. In medicine, I am grateful for all our patients who have allowed me to care for them so they can experience the wonders of the world. I am also grateful for our students who have allowed me to teach them and each of the members of our mastermind, as well as all our employees who have grown with us through the years in all our enterprises. As we gather with our loved ones this Thanksgiving, let's remember the multitude of blessings we hold. Let's also remember those who might be struggling, offering them our thoughts and support. In doing so, we not only enrich our lives, but also bring light into the lives of others. So, to each of you, I extend my heartfelt wishes for a Thanksgiving filled with joy, reflection, and peace. May this season be a reminder of the endless possibilities that await us, both within and beyond the realms of medicine. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope that you learned a lot from gratitude. If you want to learn more about our podcast, please go to any platform where they have our podcast, Design Your Physician Life. We also have our YouTube channel called Max Over Mastermind. And you can also learn more about how you can bring your business to a reality. Visit our website, maxalure.com, M-A-X-A-L-L-U-R-E. Please share the wealth, share the happiness with others. If you really like this podcast, share it with your friends and families. Subscribe to the podcast and give us five stars. If you visit our website, maxalure.com, you will also have access to our book, 45 Questions to Inspire Growth in the Medical Clinic. If you have a medical clinic, you won't want to miss it. I'll see you then. Bye. Please remember that design is not providing specific financial, medical, or career advice. Our only intent is to stimulate your appetite for growth by sharing our experience and those of our speakers, coaches, and guests. Your personal growth and success will be unique to your circumstances and your hard work. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the show and look forward to seeing you next week.